Hi guys, welcome back to Makeup Bag Monday, week number 40 freaking two. Uh, if you're new, I'm Serene, and this is my weekly makeup bag series where I rotate products new and rediscovered from my makeup collection for a full week. Come back each week to see how the products performed, what I think about them, in-depth reviews, swatches, demos of me applying the product, all that fun stuff. If you really, really love Makeup Bag Monday and you want to shop the products, know the prices, or see detailed swatches on white paper, all of that is available over on my blog, SerenWu.com. And if you missed any Makeup Bag Monday for the last 42 weeks, there's a playlist, first clickable link in that description box. Let's get started. You are part of my newsletter group and you got the notification for new blog posts, then you got early access to today's video as well as the blog post. Congratulations, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm announcing it here, I will be retiring Makeup Bag Monday, the series, after week 52. I think a full year of Makeup Bag was more than I ever anticipated of committing myself to. It was just kind of a series I started originally over on my blog to make sure that I blogged every week. And then I thought, hey, you know what? Let's put this on YouTube. I do better talking to you guys versus writing sometimes. And you guys loved it. So I kept going. I have to be honest, it's a lot of freaking work. And it sucks because sometimes I really want to use the products again, but I need to try out new things. After 52 weeks, I will be retiring the series indefinitely. I might bring it back here and there, but I'm definitely going to be taking a hiatus. First thing I was testing out is this foundation from Kajar Weiss. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it all week, and I love this thing. It is so sheer, but buildable. You can get um, anywhere from a light to a medium coverage. It is, a natural finish, so it's not matte and it's not dewy. It's a cream product, but it almost sets set de demi powderish, if that is even a word. The packaging is phenomenal. It's incredibly sleek, very high end, and if you are done with the foundation and you want to keep this um, little compact, you can definitely just refill the foundation when you're done. Really love this. This shade just sheer, and this is good for 12 months. It's made in Italy. I have the cream blush, and this is in the shade Joyful. It's what I'm wearing today. It's also what I've just been wearing, you know, all week. <laughs> I love this blush. I am very particular with my cream blushes, so much so that really after Glossier came out with their cloud paints, I didn't really reach for much else for my daily life because the Glossier cloud paints are super sheer, but pigmented, a little goes a long way, but they set beautifully. Sometimes with cream blushes, they get too slippy and slidey and they, they're almost like tacky and sticky and my hair gets in it and then like I touch my face and I'm like, oh, it doesn't always work well for me. I also have drier cheeks, so I love the look of the cream blush, but I don't necessarily love the texture it can give me if I'm trying to add a little powder to set it so it doesn't feel tacky. The Kajar Weiss Cream Blush is gorgeous. It's pigmented, it blends beautifully, it's really smooth, it goes on well, and then when it sets, it almost sets like a powder once again, but it gives me that dewy effect that I want from the cream blush. So this, I think, is good for all skin types. Again, very clean product, very clean ingredients, and the packaging is beautiful. I feel like you can buy refills of all her products. So if you wanted to switch out the blushes, you could probably pop them out and carry whichever shades you want and then put them back into the like original packaging that comes in like a little plastic. So this way you only need to pay like for the compact ones. Then I tried out some RMS beauty products that you guys had recommended from my video maybe two weeks ago. So this is the RMS Uncover Up. I'm in the shade 22. This is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. This is very similar to the Glossier Stretch Concealer that is like my holy grail all-in-one concealer, but it's not quite as emollient as the Glossier Stretch Concealer. So the Glossier Stretch Concealer, I still really love. I use it under my eyes. I use it all over my face. It's beautiful. This is that, but completely clean and not as dewy. Glossier one is very emollient, like I mentioned, so you need to set it almost immediately, especially under your eyes, or it's beautiful if you're super, super dry. The RMS one is universally effective because it does dry down to almost 
almost again like a demi matte almost powdery finish but not powdery whatsoever so with this when I put it under my eyes I don't feel like I have to set it immediately I feel like I got some time and I'm only setting it because I'm just being safe because I want it to last also worn this without any foundation so you can definitely I get good coverage with blemishes I got a bug bite on my forehead this last week and now it's like brown and reddish because it's just angry so I've been using this to cover it it does great job at covering a nasty dead bug bite leftover good job at covering my redness around my cheeks and especially the darkness under my eyes I mean um, I'm using natural light today in my bedroom this is actually my bedroom I thought I would you know change things up I feel like my aesthetic is always been a little bit more effortless and I felt the pressure to always be super super polished here on YouTube but I want to embrace the fact that I'm a real person I like having things a little bit messy I like I'm very type A and very organized but I like having a little bit of like style and character to things and if you follow me on Instagram and Insta stories or Snapchat or even on my blog, I think you guys can see that transition of me allowing myself to be a little bit more myself. Definitely over on my second channel, More Serene, just because I feel like I can be myself there all the time because it's like it started as a vlog channel. So I really feel like the last few months I've kind of figured out who I am even more so uh, with dealing with loss and just dealing with kind of really feeling like an adult for the first time. You know what you think of this? It's kind of cloudy today, so it was the perfect time to film because sometimes the LA sun is a little too bright to be filming. So really enjoyed the Uncover Up from RMS. I I think it's a really good product. And if you're looking to start with something from RMS, I recommend starting with the Uncover Up first because the other ones can be a little difficult to work with and kind of like weird. Not weird, just like different. Uh, next up, I had the RMS Beauty Cream Eye powder eyeshadow or eye polish I've seen it online labeled eye polish but it's cream eyeshadow and I have the shade seduce it's what I'm wearing in my eyes today I really love this it reminds me of a little bit more of a bronzy version of groundwork from Mac and this has a slight sheen to it it's just bronzy enough where it gives me that like bedroom eyes I've really been loving that bedroom eyes where I just use a cream shadow or I even just use eyeliner sometimes. I just smudge it all through my lid and then I go in with a wing liner and then I smudge that out so the black and the bronze like mix together. And I did a Facebook Live kind of showing that technique. I love that smoky, like sexy, didn't try that hard, but honestly I did, but not that bad. And maybe my makeup's been on for a few hours or maybe I fell asleep in it and woke up next to you like this. I don't know. I do have to say, because it is a cream, I set it with a loose powder. I use my favorite powder from Ilia, but it is something that if you have oily eyelids, you want to make sure you set with either another eyeshadow, so you can use this as an eyeshadow base, or set it with a translucent powder because it is going to slip and slide, and if you wear a lot of eyeliner like I do, it will transfer your eyeliner. So just be aware of that because it is a cream. Um, it doesn't dry down. It's a very polished look, like that glowy, dewy look, which I like on my lids because I think it makes it look sultry and going for that bedroom effect. So I don't mind it being a little creasy and a little like wet looking because that's kind of the look I'm going for. But if you're not looking for that, stick with the MAC groundwork because groundwork dries down to like almost a matte finish. Next up I have from Well People. This is their Natural Contour and Highlight Duo. I really like this contour because it's just enough. It's a cream that blends out really nicely. It works beautifully in my dry areas because you guys know my issues. Things don't want to blend over here. Not sure why, but it doesn't. I've even tried shaving my sideburns. Um, I don't really have sideburns, but you know, that area I've shaved, I've exfoliated, I hydrate. I don't know what the hell is wrong over there. So this is easy to work with because I've used my fingers, I've used a sponge, and you just kind of stipple it on. I've used a brush, and then you use your fingers to warm it up and blend it out, and it works really, really nice. The highlight I'm wearing today, I do like this highlight, but I feel like it's very similar to the RMS Living Luminizer, so that's the only thing. If you wanted to buy the RMS one, you don't really need this kit because it comes with both, or you can buy this kit and not get the RMS Living Luminizer. Um, I own both. 
I'm extra like that in Karina's words. It reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford, is it the Shade and Illuminate palette? Basically the Tom Ford cream palette. I owned it. It was like super talked about for a while. One of their best makeup products in my opinion. I revisited this Well People mascara and I have to say, I'm obsessed with this mascara. You can do like three or four coats of this without it starting to look like spider legs. It is a spiky rubberized wand. Not my favorite type of wand. I like natural bristles, but this is just the perfect shape, just the perfect amount of spacing between the little spikes. So it gets in there. I can get it really close to my roots and I can pull and lift. It adds length. It adds volume. You can build it up. I do two to three coats and it hasn't clumped on me. I've had this for well over a month now and it still hasn't like gotten goopy and gross, which is very, very beneficial. This is the Kosas lipstick, which I adore. I'm going to go pick out a rosy everyday mauvey shade in the shade dark room but the lipstick has incredible longevity it dries down to a demi matte finish it doesn't dry out my lips amazing and the packaging is so cute and it also smells really good like chocolate and the packaging is really sleek and I just think it's cool I really like this lipstick and it wears like a normal lipstick but it's clean like I didn't even know this was a clean brand. I just knew my friend Christine liked it and I saw it and I was like, I have to get it because she likes it and the packaging is so cool. Definitely gonna pick up at least one more shade that I can wear for every single day, like my lips put better, because this shade is beautiful and I was wearing it kind of like as a stain, I blended into my lips, but I want something that is more wearable for every single day, especially with my smoky eyes, because I found that with the smoky eyes and the dark red lip, I was going a little too vampy for daytime. <laughs> But again, do you, do whatever works for you. But when I was at Bar Method with a bold red lip and smoky eyes, I think uh, everybody at Bar Method was kind of like, this girl showed up with a full freaking face of makeup. And finally, I was testing out this new fragrance from Urban Decay. This is the Go Naked Rollerball. Um, I have to be honest, it's not my favorite scent on me. I like the way it smells in the bottle and I like the way it smells on other people, but it turns on me. I have a really weird body chemistry, so when I like a fragrance, it might not smell the same after 20 minutes when it's on me. I think I sweat a lot <laughs> or like something's up with me because so many fragrances that I love and loved enough where I bought it, it I can't wear it and it just all smells the same sickly sweet. So that's kind of what happens with this one, which is unfortunate because I do like the light fragrance. If you don't have that issue or if you wanna get a sample of this to test out for yourself, it's very light, it's very feminine and clean at the same time. So I do recommend it, just not if you have a weird chemistry like I do. So that is everything I tested out for last week. If you wanna see detailed swatches and shop the products, make sure you check out my blog, serenewoo.com. Um, all the prices will be listed next to there as well. Of course, the prices are based in US because I am based in the US and those are my prices. Coming up next week, I am going to still be using the Kajar Weiss foundation and most likely the cream blush as well as the RMS concealer and the mascara from Well People just because I really love that stuff. Fragrance I'm going to be testing out because I am going to rotate something that I love and that I know won't turn on me is the Organic Pharmacy Tubla Rose. I splurged on this last year and I need to pull it back out because I spent a lot of money on this. It smells so good and I think the reason the Organic Pharmacy fragrances don't turn on me is because they are organic and made with actual essential oils nothing's been diluted and i'm paying for actual fragrance so if you guys don't know that's like a thing um a lot of the fragrances that you see in your typical stores actually paying for the essential oils um it's usually like a mix of things so this one it smells amazing it's the only kind of florally scent that i can wear and doesn't give me a headache so i'm gonna pull this out it's perfect timing for the end of spring early summer to kind of wear for a while i'm also going to be testing out the new highlights from jouet cosmetics this is the new skinny dip highlighter and then this one is the tan line so these are based off of their two most popular lip toppers and i really have to give christina credit from Jouer. She was the first one to come out with this idea of a lip topper, a metallic lip topper, and even liquid lipsticks that were metallic. So way to go for being way ahead of your time, Christina. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Jouer, and I believe these are gluten-free and uh, definitely
definitely cruelty free. And there's one more thing that they said it was, but I have the box over there and I can't move because I'm I'll be out of focus. These are really gorgeous. I can't wait to test these out. If you ever want to purchase anything from Jouer, I do have a discount code for 15% off. It's always linked in the description box, but my name and 15. So it's Serene 15 for 15% off all Jouer Cosmetics website orders. And that's from here until they take it away from me. So I'll let you guys know if they ever do take it away from me. Um, it is an affiliate code, so I do make money from Jouer as well. But you guys know I'm very particular with what affiliate codes I will use. And also I don't recommend anything I don't love. So Jouer is one of those brands where I feel like they consistently knock it out of the park. And after talking to Christina and being like very, very like, stalkerish on her uh, me on her end because she's such an inspiration as a female entrepreneur and as a mother I just think it's really amazing how much she cares and the quality control she has with the brand so these are very soft highlights which gives you that beautiful buttery finish but they are delicate so when you travel with these I recommend putting a cotton round in here and then closing it and that usually saves me because I've traveled with the other highlights and I'm okay with it but then like if you drop it it's you're screwed next up I have the skinny dip ultra foil shimmer shadows super excited about this palette these are so beautiful I've been looking at the swatches and they're just so creamy so wet and metallic I can't believe she was able to create this because it's really hard to create foiled metallic eyeshadows to give that payoff I do believe these are all limited edition I don't think they're sold out just yet but if they are I apologize uh, I'm I try to get these videos up as quickly as possible. Um, so hopefully they're not sold out yet. If they're sold out on the Jouer website, I know Beautylish, um, Feel Unique, and a couple other retailers do carry Jouer Cosmetics as well, and they typically have them and slowly release them out. So that you, you might still be able to get your hands on them. If you cause enough of a demand for any of the products, they do listen to you guys and sometimes will bring things back. Um, they might not be able to do it right away because of manufacturing and the labs, but they do listen to you guys. So do let them know what your thoughts. Um, and then there are the four lip toppers. This is the skinny dip lip topper, tan lines lip topper. So these were already there. And then this is Pamplemousse, which I already have, and Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez, I think, is a new one. Yeah, that's what will be coming up in the upcoming week. So if you want to see how those products perform with swatches, make sure you come back next Monday for Makeup Bag Monday, week number 43. Don't forget, I upload three new videos every week here on this channel, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Two videos over on my second channel, more serene vlogs, unboxings, lifestyle videos, all that fun stuff, super casual. And then there is a new podcast episode that goes up every Saturday on on my YouTube channel, Behind the Beauty Podcast. And you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, all of your podcast listening device apps. I'm so excited about the podcast. We have some amazing guests. So if you haven't caught up on season two, definitely go ahead and do so. Um, it's a great way to like not get road rage, in my opinion. I listen to podcasts and audible books during my drives. I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this channel. At the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos. That's how I discovered this beauty community, and it's why I wanted to be a part of this community. So thank you for letting me do that, and I hope to see you guys back here on Wednesday. Bye!